I don't know. I haven't had a fight since like fucking seventh grade. And I, and I, I was going to say, and I lost, as I recall, like you forget getting your ass kicked. Um, oh God, I took a bad one. You know, when you lose so bad, you, you can feel your hair. <laughs> That's how much my fucking head was on fire. Like, I could almost, like, close my eyes and mentally count the fucking hair follicles. That's how bad I lost that fight. Holy shit, well, my fucking, uh, was it my left ear or my right ear? One of them was, like, so fucking hot, and it was just ringing. Uh, you never thought, like, your shirt could hurt you until you got into, like, a fight. Remember that? Somehow your fucking collar of your shirt would leave, like, these ligature marks on your neck. Like, how did that happen? Um, Jesus fucking Christ, that was a good one for the other person, not for me. Then that was the end of my fucking fighting career. Um, oh, I had a bad fighting career, you know? I, I fucking, uh, I lost to a girl when I was in the third grade. She was in fifth grade, though. Now, I gotta tell you something, that was a big deal, okay? And if Conor McGregor can keep talking about how he went up a couple of weight classes, then I can make a fucking excuse that this, she was in fifth grade, all right? She had me by like, I don't know, six inches and above. She, she, was, she was a big girl. And I was trying to get the attention of her, her sister, who was in the third grade, and she had she'd taken the kickball from me, and I playfully went up there to take it back from her, but I grew up, all I had was brothers, so I didn't know how to fucking interact with females, so I took it away the way I would take it from my little brother. I fucking ripped it away, and she was near the school, and me ripping it away caused her to careen into the school, which we all know are made out of bricks because of the three little pig story, right? So it's made out of fucking bricks and she hit her head on it and started to cry and I, was, and I was like, and I didn't know what to do. Shit, my wife cried last week. I didn't know what to do then. You think I know what to do 40 fucking years ago? I didn't, right? So she starts fucking crying and out of nowhere, because the third graders and the fifth graders had the same fucking recess. She came out of fucking nowhere. She came out of fucking nowhere! And uh, just proceeded to just, I, I can't really remember what it was. It was just, it was, I just remember it was coming from above. I don't know exactly what she hit me with. It was fists, but I don't know if they were hammer fists. I don't know what, but she fucking killed me. And, I, and you know what kills me is I held it together. I fucking held it together afterwards, you know, where you want to cry, but you're like, I'm not going to cry. You're trying to walk upright, you know, with your heads a little cocked. And I was trying to just fucking walk away. And um, I was, I was all good. And I got about five feet away. And then this other girl goes, she shouldn't have done that to you. And then I fucking burst it out crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a long, sad, sordid fucking tales of my fights. Um, but dude, I had a lot of hot. Did you, Bill? You cried after a woman beat you up. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, she wasn't a woman. She was a child. And so was I. You know, when I look back at it, if I just if it fucking just had a little more head movement and I went for a single leg takedown, you know what I mean? I think I could have had her. But, you know, that shit was not mainstream back then. So, uh, you know, I didn't get the underhooks going and there was no way to get the triangle going with the, uh, the figure four leg lock. So I lost that one there. 